Howdy y'all, I'm Brylan. Please ignore the chainsaw sounds in the background. It's just somebody in a Kamala 2024 shirt cutting down a thousand foot tree directly behind my house. I, I should be worried. In this video, I'm gonna show you what they don't want you to know about Kamala. In fact, they're trying to actively erase everything that you're gonna see in this video from the internet. But just know, this is the tip of the iceberg. It goes so much deeper than this. And I will be trying to cover as much of it as I possibly can. But hey, if you're sick of being lied to like I am, would you hit that thumbs up button? It'll help push this video out to more people to help spread the truth. Now it's no secret that Kamala Harris is one of the most liberal people in our country. I'm not talking just about politicians, though she is the most liberal politician out there. Check out this video from CBS. You're very different in the policies that you've supported in the past. You're considered the most liberal United States senator. <laughs> I, I Somebody said that, and it actually was Mike Pence on the debate stage. But <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, the nonpartisan GovTrack has rated you as the most liberal hmm. senator. You supported the Green New Deal. You supported Medicare for all. <laughs> Look at her face. Just, the. This is CBS saying straight to Kamala's face that you're the most liberal politician out there. And she's just going, yeah, somebody said that. It was GovTrack that reported that Kamala was the most liberal politician. Check this out. It says here on GovTrack, Ranked most liberal compared to all senators, Kamala Harris. Can you believe that? There's some wackos in our <laughs> in our government. And this is by GovTrack. This is not by a conservative source. This is just calling it what it is. And we're going to look at her history here. But I want you to notice something. This is from an archived page. Why is that? That's because this page was actually deleted on GovTrack believe it or not, they are trying to literally delete history. They are trying to delete facts so that you don't actually know who Kamala is so that they can continue to shape the narrative. So here's the archived page. They were able to delete it, but they weren't able to get rid of it. So this is them ranking Kamala Harris as the most liberal of all senators. And they have her whole track record on here. Check this out. She joined bipartisan bills the least often compared to Senate Democrats. She is the one that refused to join bipartisan bills. And she's the one that's standing up for democracy, that we need to unite and come together, right? Well, her track record has shown that she has no interest in bipartisan anything. And, and look at this. She held the fewest committee positions compared to Senate sophomores with a total of zero. And while she was the third most absent in votes compared to all senators, over 61% of votes she missed, she still introduced the second most bills. Kind of interesting how that works, huh? In fact, she got bipartisan co-sponsors on third fewest bills compared to Senate Democrats. So again, they don't want you to see this. This is the GovTrack website. They do not want you to see this. They deleted it. It's no longer there. In fact, Axios had an entire article talking about how Kamala Harris is the border czar because Kamala Harris was put in charge of the border. It was like one of the very first things they did in Biden's presidency was make Kamala Harris in charge of the border. And we all know how horrible that turned out. No surprise. In fact, check this out. This is an editor's note to that article. It says, this article has been updated and clarified to note that Axios was among the news outlets that incorrectly labeled Harris a border czar back in 2021. Here's actually a part of that article where it says why it matters. The number of unaccompanied minors crossing the borders reach crisis levels. Harris appointed by Biden as border czar said she would be looking at the root causes that drive migration. Oh, she definitely spent so much time down at the border and trying to figure out this issue that we're having to get to the root causes 
because that's what she did. She has a long track record of promising things and keeping her promises. I think the only politician ever that's done that. In fact, here's a video that proves it. We've been to the border. She's been to the border. So this whole, this whole, this whole thing about the border. The whole we've thing. We've been to the border. She's been we've there. We've been to the border. You haven't mm -hmm. been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I mean, I don't, I don't understand the point that you're making. She's been there. In fact, listen to this video of Kamala comparing border agents to, well, you'll see. Well, the, the Klan was a, what we would call today a domestic terrorist group. Why? Why, why would we call them domestic terrorist group? Because they tried to use fear and force to change political environment. And what was the motivation for the use of fear and force? It was based on race and ethnicity. Right. Are you aware of the perception of um, many about what, how the, the, the power and the discretion at ICE is being used to enforce the laws? <laughs> and do you see any parallels? Wow. I do not see any parallels between I'm talking about officers and agents. I'm talking about perception. Wow. I, I do not see a parallel between what is constitutionally mandated as it, as it relates to enforcing the law. Are you aware that there's a right. perception? I see no Are you aware that there's a that perception? That puts ICE in the same category as the KKK. Is that what you're asking me? Sir, uh, how can you be the head of an agency and be unaware? And it is harmful in terms of leading those who are innocent people arriving at our border, fleeing harm. It is harmful to them. This is insanity. Sitting here comparing border, those protecting our border with such a horrid, disgusting, despicable group it's this is absolutely pathetic and she's making it up as she goes she goes are you aware of the of the the perception that i'm creating at this very moment listen the democrats are the party that have been screaming at the top of their lungs that they're the party that's protecting democracy they're saying that democracy is at stake if you don't vote for insane progressive liberals and remember the whole point of being a progressive is to progress past what is already constitutionally established in our country. Not to preserve it, to progress past it. But it's never actual progression. It's regression. It's, it, it's just destruction at its core. The party of saving democracy just installed a candidate that nobody voted for. And it was less than 48 hours after Biden stepped down that the establishment backed her and pledged all their delegates to her. There has been no discussion and there has been no input from the people. This is an unprecedented action. Remember, Kamala never won a single delegate. She was one of the, actually, the most unpopular candidate when she ran for president back in 2020. Now she suddenly has a majority of the delegates pledged to her within 48 hours of Biden dropping out. This is Schumer. After Biden dropped out, he says, I am proud to endorse Kamala to be the next president of the United States. She has earned the nomination. She, she didn't earn anything. Hold on. There, she did not earn a single thing. That's the key point there. She has been uh, literally installed by the government. <laughs> this has nothing to do with keeping the democratic process, which by the way, we are a constitutional republic, not a democracy in and of itself. So you know, they're lying about that in the first place, but their, their thinking and, and, and their point about democracy is that democracy means that it is led by them to control you, to rule over you. It's, it has nothing to do with the people. It has to do with them. In fact, Kamala is so unpopular, and this is such an egregious thing that, that the Democrats did, that even BLM, Yes, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to repeat that. BLM came out and called this out for what it was. One of the most corrupt leftist organizations in history came out and said, hey, something's fishy here. They said, timeline of events. On Sunday, Biden dropped out. Kamala Harris announces campaign with Biden endorsement. Kamala Harris says she is going to work hard to earn the nomination. Kamala Harris makes calls to party delegates. This was all on Sunday. And then they outline the very next day. On Monday, Kamala Harris continues making calls to par party delegates. Kamala Harris makes two public speeches. AP announces Harris has secured enough delegates 
to be the nominee by Monday night. Harris releases this statement, noting she has worked hard to go out and earn this nomination as promised. So she's going to go out and try to earn the nomination, but I thought Schumer said that she had already earned it. No, she didn't. She never earned it. A 24-hour process of talking to party bosses is not democratic, nor is it a process Democrats should be proud of. We do not live in a dictatorship. Delegates are not oligarchs. Installing Kamala Harris as the Democratic nominee and an unknown vice president without any public voting process would make the modern Democratic Party a party of hypocrites. Wow. This is, you know, you know that it's just complete and utter insanity within the Democratic Party when you have BLN coming out and saying that the Democrats are the party of hypocrites. In fact, here's the X page for Biden HQ. It was immediately changed the very same day that Biden announced that he was dropping out of the presidential race and it was changed to Kamala HQ. Almost like they had everything ready to go. Although this banner here looks like it was made by like a middle schooler back in 2002. Please understand this, that they have been lying to you. That it, just nothing but lies on top of lies on top of lies. And everything they are doing is out in the open. They are literally trying to delete history and tell you that it never happened. Kamala Harris was never ranked the most liberal of all senators. You think Biden's presidency is bad? Well, try having the most liberal politician. You know, ultimately God is in control. I want you to remember this promise. This is Proverbs chapter 3. Starting in verse 5 here, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. But hey, let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. And please hit that subscribe button. Join this community. I would love to hear from you regularly. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that thumbs up button, you know when you like this video, it'll get pushed out to more people and it would really help spread the truth. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.